Hi everyone, it's Sophia again. Today I don't have a game recap, but if you like in the comments, tell me and I'll show you my 2100 win game as well. Uh, I decided to start a new series, Puzzle of the Week, but I'm going to take games specifically from women because I've noticed that there is a lack of women's games being shown online as well as just a lack of women in the sport in general. So what I'm going to show you is what happened before in the game, before things went wrong. You know, in this case, how Black could have defended, all right? So I'll just show, I'll just start. So you'll notice that this game is Zhong Yu Tan versus Anna Zatonsky. Yeah, Zatonsky, okay. And there's a big rating disparity. Zhongyi went on to win the Carms Cup, which is where this game came from. She's rated 25-40 versus 23-27. So there were definitely probably psychological factors in play, uh, just because of the huge rating difference. And so you can take a look here. This is in totally equal position, all right? The only thing is that a human might notice, like I would take white any day in this position, even though white is down a pawn, right? Look at this, these pieces are just not super developed. This knight is stuck back there, bishop is stuck back there. Meanwhile, white's pieces are all out, and what's unusual is that we see rooks that are out in the middle game, which is kind of strange, right? You don't usually see that. I'm sorry, pardon. This rook is normal. That rook is, feels a little weird, because earlier white sacrificed a pawn and brought the rook up. So, I'd just like you to think, what might you play here as black? Right, a really natural move might be knight takes c5. That feels so good. Getting, I'm getting the knight out, right? My bishop is about to come out, maybe. But it's wrong. It's bad. Why? Because rook e5 is just so crushing. Uh, because the only chance, really, is very complicated. And I'll show you guys in a moment. But the natural move is just queen to c6, which is... A little bit vain is trying to hold on to pieces and I'm just gonna give you guys a chance to pause the video have a little think what do you do here as white how do you find a way to attack black right you'll notice that all these pieces are aimed over there the bishop looks nice right queen is aimed over there these rooks are just ready to roll over knights looking in there okay so assuming you've had a little think right you can play rook g4 and right pinning this pawn threatening queen takes h6 and here it's really really hard for black to defend so i'll just show you what happened in the game first uh, so the knight took on d3 it it's understandable this is a, and it was playing against a really high rated player probably didn't quite know what to do um, but here this just allows queen takes h6 and after g6 there's not there's not one mate, there are not two mates, but three different checkmates here. So first of all, there's just very, very flashy rook takes g6, which works. Right? And after that, black resigned. So very nice win in just 20 moves. 20 moves is very short to just get a checkmate like that in. But this is Songyu's style. She's very attacking, very aggressive ambitious she sacrificed a pawn in the opening all right i can even start doing uh, other people's game recaps if you'd like to see this game see the full thing let me know in the comments section uh so let's go back and see what should have happened so first of all black's chance was to take here with the queen everything would have been equal your black is up two pawns everything's fine so now if rook g4 is played okay it looks it looks so strange it looks weird because it's like all my bish all my pieces are stuck back here. What am I doing? It feels very natural to just develop that knight, right? But and you just in general you don't want to open this side up, but you should play a five. And momentarily, this just blocks out the bishop, right? Blocks out some of these problems. So okay, let's say rook to g6, right? Trying to maintain this pin, this threat of queen takes h6. Okay, let's say rook f6, queen takes, rook takes, queen takes. Okay, not a fate, attacking the, attacking the queen. At least our knight's getting a little bit 
of action. Okay, queen comes here, right? Preventing this bishop from coming up for the moment, or else you lose the rook. And now queen to c6. And you can just trace the queen and try to trade it. So at least black still got a chance here, right, to defend. Because for the moment, all of white's pieces are blocked out. Um, it's definitely way better than what happened in the game, even though this looks a little wonky, right? F5, like leaving this backwards pawn, it looks strange. But it just survives. So here, black would still be up a pawn, right? But white just has such a nice initiative. It looks a little scary, but it would have worked. Okay, so let's go back again. Okay, so after knight takes c5, uh, I would like to propose one way to make things harder for white. So instead instead of just holding on to material right to this queen, um, what white black could have tried is to take here. Right, knight takes c3. Okay, so right, a lot of exchanges on the board. Okay, so let's say something like knight takes c6. If you take this rook, it just brings the queen in. So let's say knight takes c6, rook takes, rook king takes. All right, let's say white wants to try to get in, maybe play something like knight e5, right? The idea is if this knight takes here, you've got checkmate, right? So obviously white's not going to be able to take that. Okay, so let's say king e8 just to defend this area, right? Trying to get the bishop, sorry, trying to get the bishop out misfire. Okay, so knight c4, right? White is trying to get pieces in here, right? Maybe attack some pawns. All right, so here's like a, maybe a continuation of the game, just e5. Right. It, white still has to win this game. It's just holding on a little bit. Maybe even uh, there were ideas for this pawn to roll down the board later. Maybe we could start pushing these dudes. But basically the idea is white still has to win this game. Um, Material-wise, black is up a pawn, but... These pieces are just so awkward, they're not coordinating it, doesn't make it worth it. Okay. So let's let's go back and see now, how could we defend? Okay, so after knight takes d3 here, sorry, after rook g4, what should have been played here was, once again, f5, just trying to block out pieces. It's still pretty bad for black, but this is the only chance for black to do better. Um, and even if black plays perfect moves, like let's say queen takes h6, right? That's pretty much the threat. Uh, if you take if you take here, just right, take that rook, queen h7, king f7, bishop g6. You're just chasing this king around the board. You can even give up material, right, to corner this king because there are just so many threats. These pieces are just out of the game. You can you can just sacrifice material. It's pretty common, right, to get into checkmates. Okay, and all of this, even if black plays perfectly, right, tries to defend, um, you can probably see this fork right here, knight to e5. And after king e7, uh, this is just losing. But this is, this is if black plays, like, it, this is if both black and white play perfectly, and white sacrifices all these pieces, which is a lot to calculate. We're humans, we're not engines. This is the only way here for black to stand even a chance right after queen takes h6. All right, so, right, congratulations to Zongyu. I'm probably not pronouncing this correctly at all for, right, for winning that game. Um, once again, definitely psychological factors at play to lose this quickly. It happens when you're playing like such a high rated player. You, this is another thing I really wanna talk about in the future. You don't wanna let this get to you. It's very common. To see that, right, people just get discouraged right from the bat. They get really scared that they're going to lose. But these top-rated players, like, they still make mistakes. Magnus Carlsen blunders, right? So uh, you got to continue. So on a different note, uh, let me know in the future what kind of videos you might like to see. I definitely also have a lot of stories to tell, right? Just like as a woman in chess. Um, all right, so... I'll see you guys next time. Take care.